You're blessed Thank tonight you, in a special way, Lord. In Jesus' name, we do ask for prayer. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Turn your Bibles to Ephesians chapter 5, verse 27. Thank all those coming out to the house of God, all those tuning into the broadcast, especially the brother in prison, appreciate you greatly. Ephesians 5, verse 27. That he might present it to himself a glorious church. So here, Christ is talking, and he has spoken verse 25. Go back up to 25. Husbands, love your wives. Husbands, love your wives. Even as Christ also loved the church. Even as Christ also loved the church. And gave himself for it. That he gave himself for it. That he might sanctify it. That he might cleanse sanctify it, it and cleanse it. With the washing of water by the word. With the washing of water by the word. That he might present it to himself. That he might present it to himself. A glorious church. A glorious church. Not having spot. Not having spot. Or wrinkle. Or wrinkle. Or any such thing. Or any such thing. But that it should be holy. But that it should be holy. And without blemish. And without blemish. So here Christ is talking about his return. And he clearly indicates that he's coming back with a, for a glorious church. Yes. Thank God he's coming back for a church with glory, with Amen. power, yeah, right. with authority, with victory over the world. Oh my God. He's not coming back for a worldly church. Amen. He's not coming back for a church, my God, that's still flirting with the world. Amen. A church that wants to be just like the world, but with the name of Christ. A church that wants music just like the world, my God, but just uh, add a little Christ in it every now and then. Oh my God. A church, oh my, God. my God, that want to dress like the world. You can't tell the difference between a saint or a sinner. Amen. My Lord, they close tight and they close tight, my God. Oh my God. They close low and they close low. He said, I'm not coming back for a church like that. Amen. Yes, yes. He said, but I'm coming back for a church with glory. Amen. My God. And the church is not the four walls, but the church is the people. Yes, yes. So here he says, I'm coming back for a glorious people. And God has the glory, but he shares his glory with the people. Amen. And we began last week sermon topic in position for your portion of the glory in position for your portion of the glory I believe with everything within me that God is on his way back the devil is cutting up yes but God is also cutting up and God is going to have a glorious church a glorious people and he wants to share his glory with us but God will not share his glory with just anybody. Yes, we must be in position. Yes, We're going to look at the three C's we broke down last week that we need to have in our lives in order for us to have, if you want a home, with some glory in it. Yes. Inspirations in your home. Right. You want to have an experience that you go to work and people may not know where this, that, and the other, but they can tell something different with you. Yes. You may not go with the Bible every moment, but they'll say, it's something different about you. Yes. You don't even go preaching to them every second unless God inspires you to, but still they will say, there's something different. You in the congregation, you may not testify every service. You may not sing uh, loud, this, that, and the other, but there's something about your experience, Mike. God. When you come around, when you just open your mouth, maybe it's a simple testimony, but there's glory in there. When a saint is going through something, you can just say something to that saint. There's glory in that experience. Yes, sir. It's imperative that we have these three C's in place. The glory is God's power manifested through you. God's divine power manifested through you. We just don't want to pray for somebody. We want to pray for some glory. Amen. The devil's kingdom impacted by your and the results of your labor. The devil's kingdom impacted unsaved saints, friends, children. You come around, my God. They get up under conviction. Of, they, they, they call you. Asking you, remember me in prayer. 
You can tell when you're, especially teenagers, listen to me. You can tell when you're making spiritual progress when your teenage friends say, pray for me. Amen. You can act all you want to act in front of the brother, in front of the saints. We don't know how you really are. But your friends, they know your experience. They know if you talk about LeBron more than you do uh, Paul and Peter. They know, my God, if you're more excited about something way over here or the things of God. You may say and you may come up and sing this, that, and the other. But, but, but let your siblings say, pray for me. You, you seem real well up here, but they know when you're slamming dishes at home when mama tells you to wash the dishes. Come on. They know when you get an attitude when they get in your room. I'm not saying they should be in your room when you're not there. But it's the way you gotta handle it. You can't just be acting in your kind of way. And if you do, they're not gonna say pray for me. They're gonna say you need prayer. So the devil's kingdom is impacted when you have real glory in your soul. You have inspiration to impart to others. There's something about you. Peter and John said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have. When God's glory is shared with you, one of the uh, saints' children called me earlier this morning, early this morning, sent a thing, and they said, uh, I caught a glimpse of my mother praying in service, and it impacted me in such a way not just what she was saying, but just the glory that I felt from the prayer that I began to send it all over the place. My cousin, my nephew, my niece, my this, that, yeah. So I remember growing up at home. My God, when mama didn't come down to the kitchen that day, and mama didn't make cakes that day, when mama told us, turn this off and turn it off, and she stayed in her room praying before God. I can't get that out of my mind. She was getting some glory in her soul. She didn't understand that 35 years later, her oh daughter God. would still be impacted by the glory that she was obtaining by turning her plate up. And the next day, she said mama didn't come down to breakfast. But the next day, she didn't eat again. She was praying, my God. My old wife just praying before God. Lord, spare my children. Lord, bless the church. Lord, bless the ministry. Lord, heal such a so-and-so. Lord, raise her up. That's what I remember. Yes, yes, yes. God. 35 years later, early in the morning this morning, she heard her mother praying and said, I remember that took me back to my childhood. Yes, that's good. Serious, brother. That's right. Glory, that's right. glory. Yes. When you're seeking God, turning your plate up, when you're in your prayer closet, my God, seeking God's face, you're seeking after that glory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, this kind cometh not but by. Oh, yeah. Prayer and fast. Past is almost a thing of the past. Oh, a lot of people's experience, my God, they can't tell you, my God, when somebody told me one time, yeah, uh, I, 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 I fast uh, oh, every six months or whatever, but oh, 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 hey, there's too many demons out here today. There's too many spirits out here trying to take your children today. There's too many saints with conditions in their bodies today, my God. You may say, I get a headache, my God. If I got to get a headache, to get some glory in my soul. So when I pray, I say, Lord, bless my headache that I'm going to get because I'm turning my plate up today, my God. My God. Right. Here, the glory God wants to share. Prayer is like a phone being plugged in. My God. Okay. Your time in prayer is like you plugging in the phone. Hey, it's amazing how many people you get in the car and everything, they're almost fighting over the outlet so they can, can I get your shower, can I get your, my God, how's your prayer life, my God? Let's fight over prayer life, my God. Hey, can I get the shower, can I get, can I get this ball my God, to pray? <laughs> I'm trying to get some glory in my soul. I'm trying to get some glory down in my soul. I want to get some glory on reserve, my God. So, 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 so people can catch my overflow. Amen. That's good, amen. The glory, the glory, the glory. A church that prays. A home that prayer is there. Prayer. Saints, listen to me. I'm telling you the truth. In this Laodicea, it's not talking about just somebody coming with some fourth work of grace, this, that, and the other. It's talking about things that's hindering the glory. This busy age is more difficult to get on your knees for real and spend some time before God for real and connect for real. That's why he said, my God, some cases ain't breaking. He said, my God, the frequent fervent prayer. It takes a while for that fervency. He's talking about this, Lord, now nah, lay me down to sleep. Oh, the memory sister so on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Lord. Hold on, I got to get before God. I gotta. It said when you pray, shut your closet. In other words, shut out distraction. And sometimes it takes two or three minutes just to 
get your mind right. so busy and going this day. I got to just steal away with my mind. Yes. Lord, help me, Lord. Sister Green said, pray until you pray. Just, my God. just pray until I tell what well, I need some glory in my prayer life. A glorious prayer life. It's his responsibility. My God. My God. No. That's right, but glory comes from an active, fervent prayer life. My God. Amen. Amen. Here, and we talked about the first C, and that was being clear. Isaiah 59 1. Those that aren't saved, God wants to share his glory with you, his peace with you. Some, I was reading this thing today. I was taking a, an assessment for health insurance, and it asks, do you go through long periods of time of sadness? Do you go through a, a long, a, a, like multiple days in which your, your, your life seems hopeless? Do you go through situations where it's multiple days in which there's just a gloom over you? Do you go through, the, the, and, I, and, 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 and say to God, I'm reading this, and I said, you know what? It's people that go through multiple days of sadness. Just sad. Just sad. My God, just multiple days of hopelessness. They, 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 they like just feel hopeless. It's not asking me all this question. I wanted to just stop the whole circle. I'm saved. I'm saved, my God. I'm saved. And you may say, brother, saved people go through this. Same people do go through, but if we implement the scripture instruction and stand on the promises of God, we can cast all our care upon the Lord. We can win God to go around with this anxiety attack. This and that. He said, acknowledge him in all thy way. He'll direct our path. I don't got to be confused. Amen. God got this thing. It said, he that performs a good work in me is faithful to perform it until the day of Christ. He didn't get me saved to leave me out. I'm not alone. No, never alone. So if we implement the word of God, stand on the promises of God, we don't got to go around here Amen. feeling sad and depressed. And the, the Bible said the wicked are a trouble seat that cannot rest. But thank God he's a prince of peace. I'll keep in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Isaiah 59, 1 and 2. Read that for me, brother. Behold, behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save. The Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save. Neither his ear heavy that he cannot hear. I got glory for you. But what? But your iniquities. But your iniquities. Your sins. Your ungodly living. I, 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 I want to bless you. But you involved in stuff. I'm sorry. Life has no fellowship with darkness. You gotta get saved. You gotta give up sin. Right. Don't let nobody tell you that you can sin and still be saved because salvation is a glorious experience. God is not gonna share his glory with a sinner. Right. Right. God. God is not gonna do that. So in order to get glory in your life, in order to have that life of peace, that life of joy, the fruit of the spirit, joy, peace, my God, all these things, you gotta give up sin. You gotta let God know I'm done. All the iniquity in my life, I'm asking you to forgive me for it. I'm done with it, and I want to serve you for the rest of my life. We broke this down last time in which a person cannot have glory when they're not clear. Also, we're not going there over in Joshua. They were going, and they were, have, were to have glory, victory from one place to the next. They lost this battle. whole bunch of people slaughtered. In other words, the glory of God wasn't with them. They were out there operating with no glory. They got destroyed. They went and looked. Old Achan yeah. had something up under his tent that he shouldn't have had. My Many individuals have no glory in their life because they got secret sins. My God. There's stuff that don't nobody know about that they're involved in. It's places they go online after everybody's gone on their phone when they're all by themselves. Don't realize that God is right there with them. Right there. God. God is right there with yes. them. See exactly what they're doing. Yes. They now they're going through some motion, my God, but they don't have no real glory, my God. They don't have a time when they ride down the street in a car and they just feel the glory of God down in their soul. They don't have a time when they're lost in prayer, my God, and they can just sense something else come in the room. My God, they can feel, my God, the very presence of God. They break down in tears because God has been so good to them. God, my God, has touched them in such a mighty way. My God. Because they're involved in something. Saints, I'm going to tell you, you do not have to go around 
involved in stuff or hypocritical. This, my God, is the church. We're not some elitist spiritual people that's willing to criticize you because you had a fault or a problem. My God, we want to create an atmosphere that whatever your problem is, my God, you can get it straightened out. You ain't got to go around Amen. like that. Don't feel bad. Just have a little humility, my God. Say, listen, there's some things. It's a trial that didn't go through right. I feel God. I committed sin. I did whatever. Saints, forgive me. It would never happen again. I'm sorry. I feel bad. And let me tell you, saints, if they're feeling bad about it, they broken the contract. They feel bad enough. They don't need you making them feel hurt. My God, call them on the phone. Tell them, sister, it's going to be. We're not talking about celebrating sin. We're talking about being our brother's kid. He that is spiritual. That's why I said he that is spiritual. Restore such a one. Because there's a time. In a place for everything. Yes, it is. So here, after the out of sin, you can't have secret sins. All right. And over in First John, don't go there. The first chapter, you have to get the last week's tape or CD. I'm getting so old. I'm taking it. It's amazing, man. Somebody called me yesterday. I'm at home. My wife has stayed here a little after, so I'm getting it dinner together, getting it situated. And I'm, well, praise the Lord. So, so, so we was going to team up on it. And, I, and she, had, she, was, she was laboring in the kingdom. So I had to labor in the kitchen. But I'm sitting here in the kitchen, opening up stuff, getting eggs, cracking, and doing the other doing the same thing. So, so I'm sitting here, and my phone started ringing, and they're saying, it, Ooh. I enjoy service today. I sit here and say, you wasn't in no service. I, 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 I don't remember seeing it. It's amazing how technology is. Yes, Somebody not even in service is going A to Z. And then this happened. And then this happened. And then and I'm sitting there. Here I am talking about tapes. And they talking about, bro, I didn't got the service before the service ended. <laughs> I got it. I got it. So get to, get to uh, go online. Do whatever you do in your name. But in 1 John 1, 7, he said, walk in the light. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. We don't have time. We just recap it. He said, walk in the light. And saints, that's why we don't put instructions on new converts about what they're doing, whether or not they're doing. Right, because you have to walk in the light. The Holy Ghost is faithful, saints. Amen. Don't, yeah. don't underestimate the Holy oh Ghost. God. You can yeah. do nothing wrong without the Holy Ghost checking you. Yes, sir. You ain't got to check. You ain't got to tell if it's someone in their closet, they know they ain't got no business wearing because they're making their stuff all stick out and this, that, and the other. Now that they say, you ain't got to go back. You better not. You better still. That's so right, brother. when they put that on in front of the first guy, they're going to get a real sense of uneasiness. Yes. I don't feel, I don't think that Holy Ghost like right. I put something else on it. <laughs> but here, he said, first John 1, he said, if you walk in the light, saints, but, but if God show you something, okay. it's different. Yes. Right, it's different. It's, di it, it's no longer negotiable. Okay. I may say something, you get, but God didn't really show. If God shows you something, now the glory is predicated upon you receiving that. You walking in that. God shows you something. Many times individuals get, get, get saved, they're inspired. God shows them things, tighten up their walk. Then they get relaxed. Or they see somebody else who they think got glory, mm. and they're involved in what God showed you don't do. Mm. And then they began to do it, and they don't even realize how glory starts seeping out. Yeah. It's, something, it's just something, it ain't the same, it's something, what God told me, leave that alone. Yeah. And let me just take you, I'm going to go back to the 60s on y'all, mm. 70s on y'all. It was, I could really go back to the 60s, or go back beyond that, but there is something <coughs> that the saints used to talk about and it was called personal conviction. Yeah. My God. My God. My God. It was, the gospel was that tight. And it still is. Yes. And what that is is that you have doctrine. Mm -hmm. All right? Jesus is Lord. Standards. Yes. Modest apparel. So on and so forth. Then you've got personal conviction. Right. Yes. A personal conviction may not be preached from the pulpit because it's not the level of a universal standard. Right. But it might have been something you gave yourself to. It might have been a spirit you toy with in the world. Yes. Now you come in and get saved and God deal with you. Right. He may not deal with such a soul. That's why we don't follow other people. Right. You gotta follow God. Yes. If God show you sis, don't involve yourself in that. All right. All He's right. trying to Position you for more glory. Yes. And when you respond to it, listen to me, saints. Yes. Yeah, brother. Wait, brother. 
When you start tapping off into that and you hold it, the confidence of God go from here mm, to that's good. you. Hold on. You so in tune with me, okay. you're willing to crack. See, some people want to do the minimum of muff okay. to be saved. My God. But when you're so personal that you can get before God, God can look at your old life right. and look at things in which you gave yourself to and look in ways in which you can serve Him more perfectly and reveal to you His perfect will for you. It's kind of like go, going to a place and they just make sandwiches or they make eggs. Let me use eggs. It's good. They just make eggs. But here, eggs is delicious, and God say, oh yeah, eggs is good. But you ever went somewhere, and you were with somebody, and they said, let me get uh, my eggs scrambled light with cheese. Mm, okay. <laughs> or or you, you, whatever, you, whatever you like, you yeah. just order it, but it's just a little different. Mm. That's the same with personal convictions. Okay. It's just, it's a God is saying, I, let, me, let me get you, and, and I want you just to uh, just be careful around the opposite sex. Yes, my God. Because you remember how you get, see some stuff is reaping too. Yeah. Remember how you gave yourself? Every time you walk into a room, you were endeavoring to get there. Whatever men were in there, you was endeavoring to get their attention. Mm -hmm. you, you, had, you were beyond normal. You weren't just trying to, how you, this is normal. How you doing? Because every time you walked into a room, oh it took you about 14 seconds to do an observation of what he looked like, how tall he was, what color complexion he had, his hair texture, what, and you, you could just about sense how much money he had. Wow. <laughs> Side. I'm going to go there. But anyway, <laughs> you walk up in the room, my God, you oh, oh, you come to the same, my God, you may be, oh. personal convictions, your own worldly music self. Then they had 5,000 CDs at home, downloaded over 10,000 songs, every beat, every this, that, the other. You like, you wake up in the morning, just beat, 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 yeah, beat, beat, yeah, beat, beat, yeah, head for home, yeah. You come to the same, my God, the Holy Ghost, I don't want to hear none of that, uh, uh, No gospel singers out of this kind of world. Tied to a bit or whatever in there. But I see it. Tied to Along our journey. Yes, sir. That's good. We adapt it. We accept it. We walk in that life. Yes, sir. He says you're clear, not in sin. My God. You don't have no secret sins. And the things I've showed you, you walk in that. First one, clear. I can share my glory. The second one, consecrated. First Chronicles 29 2. Pray for us, Yes, bless you. In position for your portion of the glory. So many people have got out of position because they failed to be clear. And so many people, God has glory for them, but they must be consecrated. First Chronicles 29, 2. Now I have prepared with all my might. Now I have prepared with all my might for the house of my God. For the house of my God. The gold for things to be made of gold. Gold for things to be made of gold. And the silver for things of silver. Silver for things of silver. And the brass for things of brass. Brass for things of brass. The iron for things of iron. Iron for things of iron. <laughs> and wood for things of wood. Wood for things of wood. Onyx stones. And stones to be set. How in the world do people think that the standards and the doctrine don't matter? Well, you see how detailed, he said, I'm not going to use onyx for things I should use gold for. He said, God gave me clear instructions. I can't use silver for things I'm going to use onyx for. Do <coughs> you see how detailed? This, they were trying to get the glory. They weren't trying to have another building. Right. They were endeavoring to get the glory. But everything had to be according to the pattern. 
according to the way God designed it. Amen. They couldn't come with their own and say, no, I'm going to do this much. No, I'm going to do exactly what God has shown me. My God. Come on and read, brother. Glistening stones and of diverse colors mm. and all manner of precious stones mm -hmm. and marble stones in abundance. Mm -hmm. Moreover, because I have set my affection to the house of my God, I have of my own proper good of gold and silver. I'll tell you, saints, you will never get no glory where there's no affection first. My God. Your heart ain't in it. There will never be no glory in nobody's experience that their heart is not in it. That's my God. This is a heartless experience. It, 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 even when you testify, it's no heart in it. They got me to say, perfect. <laughs> You sing a song, it's no heart in it. That's right, bro. I so glad. Think about the fact that so many girls have ruined their life next time you sing that. Amen. And think about where you could be and where you should be. Yes. I'm That's so glad yes. I started young. Yes. For I want to be used of God. For I made the Lord my choice. I'm, he said, affection. Come on and read, brother. I've set my affection to the house of God. Moreover. Because I have set my affection to the house of, God, of my God. Yes. I have of mine own proper good. Come on. Of gold and silver. Come on. Which I have given to the house of my God. Come on, my own. I put my own into it. Read, brother. Over and above all that I have prepared for the holy house. Over and above. Come on and read. Consecrated. Even 3,000 talents of gold. My Lord. Of the gold of Ophir. Yes. And 7,000 talents of refined silk. Yes. To overlay the walls of the house with all. Above and beyond, read. The gold for things of gold. Yes. And the silver for things of silk. Yes. And for all manner of work to be made by the hands of artifices. Come on. And who then is willing to consecrate his service this day unto the Lord. He said, I got everything in order. Yes. Who then is willing to consecrate? <laughs> Fully dedicate. You would never find God sharing his glory where there wasn't first consecration. Oh God. Yeah. This individual. Because you know why? It is wasted. Right. What you gonna do with it? You barely come to church. You barely are interested in the things of God. Why am I gonna give you this amazing gift? You never hear when the saints need you never you you, you, you you this is not your go to Matthew 633. I'm sorry. Matthew 633. In order for you to be in position for your portion of the glory, saints, there first must be consecration. <clears throat> Matthew 6.33, God must be your priority. Amen, amen. Right. Glory, brother. Right. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. Not second, not third, not fourth. Amen. Whenever you're making your schedule out, seek first the kingdom. Amen. Whenever you're deciding between two jobs, seek first the kingdom. Whenever you're deciding between two colleges, seek first the kingdom. Whenever you're thinking about who I'm a married feet, seek first the kingdom. If you want to be in position for the glory that God got for you, God is your priority. I will take a dollar fifty less an hour. Yes, to be with the people of God. My to God. be where God would have for me. I've seen my God say the life blessed of God. Yeah. Why? Because it was their priority. Decisions to be made, this, that, and the other. They said, no. I could have commuted to that. No. Or my mindset. Now there may be times in which you gotta make decisions. My point is this: in every decision, God is first. Amen. God is first. And however, that's where faith is gonna come in at because after that, God, you gotta make it up. Amen. You wanna see someone with glory in your life, saints? You're gonna see somebody who prioritize the things of God. Amen. Every time I don't care if you're talking about Hudson Taylor. That brother man I was studying Hudson Taylor, 51 years in China. 51 years a missionary to China. My God. Responsible for over 800 missionaries, 25 schools, 18,000 conversions, My God. over 18 My God. provinces. Wow. <clears throat> Seek first the kingdom. Dio Moody. This is brother was speaking about earlier, I believe. Yes. Could have been the number one sales shoe salesman in Boston. Could have took it to Chicago. Back in that day, shoe salesman was a serious job. Mm -hmm. You could make as much as you could sell. It was a it was a tremendous job. 
His brother said, I'd rather be a soul winner. My God. I'd rather be a soul winner. Some of you have brilliant minds. You will get all type of offers. You 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 get credentialed in this and credentialed in that, and you're gonna get offers here, there. If you want to be in position for your portion of the glory, your mindset has to be, Lord, in which offer, in which position. I remember even man contemplating marriage. Seriously. Your mindset should be. Some people, it's amazing to me, they're so desperate to get married, they will get married to someone that they know will spiritually diminish them. Yeah. That's My true. God. Unbelievable. That's true. I'm, I'm, you want to be married so bad that even if this person I know will spiritually diminish you. Wow. I'm going to tell you this. Anything of God will take you higher. Yeah. I don't care if it's a job. I don't care if it's school. I don't care what it is. Anything that God leads you in. My God, my God. It'll God. take you higher. It'll take you closer to God. It'll give you more glory. Amen. Amen. So in order to have the glory, there must be a prioritizing the things of God. The Apostle Paul, God shared a tremendous glory with him. Go to 2 Corinthians 12, verse 1. A tremendous, unprecedented glory. God one day shared a unique glory with him. 2 Corinthians 12, verse 1. It is not expedient for me, doubtless, to glory. He said, it's not expedient, doubtless, to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. Come on and read. This brother got special visions and revelations of the Lord. Read. Mm -hmm. I knew a man in Christ about 14 years ago. He said, about 14 years ago something happened. Whether in the body. I'm going to say a man. Come on and read. Whether in the body. He said, whether in the body. I cannot tell. I cannot tell. Or whether out of the body. It's obvious he's talking about himself here. Now, he said, whether out of the body. I cannot tell. Come on. God know it. He said, literally, saints. God did something for me. Mm. I don't even know if I was still in my body. Oh, my God. I can tell you when it was. <laughs> I can tell you where it was. Okay. But it was something so special that I don't even know if I was still in this earthly body. I know. Wow. Keep going. He, he breaks it out in for a re -re -re. God knoweth. God knoweth. Such an one call up to the third heaven. He said, I left this world. We can study the three heavens. He said, call up to the third heaven. To show you what he was talking about. Read. And I knew such a man. Whether in the body or he out said, of the I body. I still don't know was I in the body or was I out. Read. I cannot tell. Read. God know it. God know it. In case you was trying to figure out which heaven he was talking about, the natural, he took me way up above the skies. The spiritual, in regards to the church, he took me and showed me the vision of the church. He goes further and tells you what he's talking about. Read. How that he was caught up into paradise. Mm. My God. <laughs> the glory that this brother got, my God, read. And heard unspeakable words. Listen, do you realize when you get to heaven, you're going to hear some words that you, that you can't even make sense of? You're going to see colors that don't even, whoa. I can't even, you're limited by your human makeup. Or you can't even hear a certain sound. Don't you know dogs got better sound ear, uh, hearing than you got? You're limited. You can't even, if, matter of fact, oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. The sun, the natural light. Yes. God shared so much light glory with the sun. My God. You can't hunt when the sun did that thing, the uh, solar eclipse thing. They said you better not look at it. You better not. You better not look at it. Amen. Well, a glory far greater than the sun. You are gonna see a light far greater than the sun. The Apostle Paul said, "Whoa." You ever heard some songs and it was just like this trend, heaven. Oh, <laughs> saints, you're going to hear a choir. Oh, oh my. You're going to hear some songs that's going to make you just, oh, 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 I just can't take no more of it. My God. <laughs> Keep reading. He talks about it. Read. And heard unspeakable words. I can't even tell y'all what I heard. Read. Which is not lawful. For it's not even life. lawful. Why? You gotta focus on the kingdom. If I tell you what I heard, you won't even be focused on the earth no more. Amen. Read. Of such a one will I glory. For such a one will I of such a one will I glory. Yet of myself I will not glory. I will not of myself, no matter what I'm done. 
Now, why did God share this with him? Look at Galatians 2.20. How did he get that experience? You're in a room, demons cast out. You're in a room, blinded eyes opening up. My God. You're in a room when they're saying the baby can't be born because it's said in the other. But my God, you're in there, you see the, my God. They tell the brothers, turn your heads. <laughs> glory. Someone you thought that never get saved, weeping like a baby, crying. And all glory. Yes. I'm talking about real Holy Ghost glory down in your soul, my God. Yeah, man. Seeing people that's been overcast with spirit for months and years, this, that, and the other, my God. And God uh, in a room praying for them, my God. And the whole cloud is lifted up. Amen. Amen. Glory, my God. Your child out there selling dope, out there involved in all type of sexual practices, involved in all type of foolishness, my God. Yeah. Come weeping, crying at nighttime, up to your room, my God. Amen. Just glory. Amen. How did he get this glory? Read, brother. Amen. I am crucified with Christ. He said, I am crucified with Christ. Amen. Nevertheless, I live. Yeah. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I. Yet not I. But Christ liveth in me. He said, I am crucified. I'm completely sold out. Yes, amen. I'm all in, all the time. I'm available now and whenever you need me, God. I'm sold out for you. He also said, I am crucified. There's no flesh here. I won't steal none of your glory. Some people, God can't use glory because they'll steal something. He's not going to share his glory with nobody. But you think that it's me. It's no. It's, I'm, I'm nothing, Lord. Right. Lord, it don't even uh, matter. Lord, yeah. I'm nothing. My God. I, 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 I get uncomfortable when somebody thinks that I did something. Lord, I'm nothing, God. Yeah. And he senses and he sees your heart. Mm -hmm. Some people can say it, but their heart ain't saying it. Right. Right. Amen, amen. Some people can say it, but they feel a little different than they say it. Mm -hmm. But in their heart, I'm the least of all the saints. Mm -hmm. Not worthy to be called a saint. Lord, Anything God. that there is, is God happened to share something. But honestly, in my heart, Paul said, I'm crucified. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the apostle who wrote half the New Testament. I'm nothing, man. I'm not, he said, I'm chief sinner. In other words, I've done more wrong. I'm not even, I shouldn't even be called a saint. I persecuted this in church. It's amazing that God used him to that extent. Probably, and it could be because the foolishness that he done ever stayed before him and caused him to have a deep sense amen, amen. of humility. Yes, yes. See, sometimes those that were out there the most can almost come around and be a blessing oh my God. because they know how they really work. Yes. They, they can't hardly look their nose up, but somebody that never done, they so quick to look their nose down at somebody. That's my God, come on. You yes, shouldn't be doing this, and I don't need you to do it. And you, oh, yes, come on, come on. So you all yes. Yes. Oh yeah, so and so back. So that was back in '91. I remember she did. She did. <laughs> For real? <laughs> and you excited about it? <laughs> For real? My God. But you Come must on. want to back your own curtain. Come on. And you say, listen. That's right. right. If this blood mm. <laughs> happened to dip a little bit and y'all seen over it, my God. I run out this building right now, <laughs> and I'm just so thankful. Yes. So Paul was crucified. <laughs> No flesh. And he was sold out. He also said, and don't go here, but over in 2 Corinthians 11, 23. Now we know that God is not, go there. God is not a respected person. But why did God use Paul to this extent? Listen to what he said. 2 Corinthians 11, 23. He goes straight to verse 23. Are they ministers of Christ? Are they ministers of Christ? Why do you use other ones? Go ahead and read. I speak as a fool. I speak as a fool. I am more. I am more. In labors more abundant. In labors more abundant. In stripes above measure. In stripes above measure. In prisons more frequent. God may not be a respected person, but I'll tell you this. It's according to your sacrifice. Amen. This brother consecration was of such, as we were talking about earlier. Byron, E.E. E. Byron was at a camp meeting. Brother Fisher had gone off and he was a partner to Brother Warner. The trumpet needed another partner to help perpetuate it. He had some inheritance, some savings. Saints knew about the approach to him. 
he had a dream, a desire to become a teacher. And he was going to go to school and he needed these books. He prayed through the night, prayed during the camp meeting. God inspired him, used that which he had set aside for something else that he wanted to go do something else with. For the furtherance of the gospel. He gave all he had. His brother was reading one of his books and it said that all these places he was able to share the gospel in. Edit articles. Write. Teach people the gospel of Jesus. He my thought God, he was giving God. up his dream. But I believe it was Sister Ife Stewart. And I'm not saying a person has to do this. Not many people would do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but she got approached by a prospect. I don't know how fine he was. I don't know how much money he had. Okay. But for whatever reason, she decided on Cuba. To this day, soul still being impacted in Cuba because of the gospel. All through Florida, all those things. You can almost trace all of them back to each of the My God, my God. But the sacrifice that yes. he took. Yes. She said, listen, why did God use Ephraim's short? Grace Henry wrote the book. You can read it. You read all about it. Why did God use her so much where you can go all through Tampa and Miami? You can go all, all through, go all through there. And you see descendants of E. Faith Stewart. But look what she had to do to get it. Consecration. Sold out. Completely dedicated to the furtherance of the gospel is necessary. Let us look at the last aspect of consecration. 2 Timothy 2. You go straight to verse 21. The, second, the last aspect of consecration. Word read. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 21. In position for your portion of the glory. Many people, consecration is lacking. So God can't share that glory to that extent. Come on and read. If a man therefore purge himself from these, uh -huh. he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use. Lord, hold on. It says sanctified and meet. In position. For the master's use. A sanctified person. I got saved. I asked God to forgive me for all my sins. Now that I'm a clean vessel, I went back to an altar of prayer and said, God, sanctify me holy. I present my body as a living sacrifice. Holy and accept. Do whatever you want to do with me, God. Wherever you want to take me, take me. Whatever you want to do with me, do with me. Lord, I'm dedicating my life, my goals, my dreams, my talent, my time. I'm dedicating all myself to you. Yes, Listen to this verse. <clears throat> my God. We're talking about imposition for glory, saints. To see a 15-year-old with glory. Mm. God, you ain't got to be 55. 15 years old, serious about the things of God. Encouraged in the saints. Bold for God. Consecrated. Sold out. It said, since Jesus gave his life for me, My God. should I not give him mine? Saints, there's few people giving their lives for God. My God. My, My God. life is yours. I'm consecrated, Lord, to thee. I shall be wholly thine. W-H, not H-O. I shall be completely thine. My life, O oh Lord, I give to thee. My talents, time, and all. I'll serve thee, Lord, thine own to be. I'll hear thy faintest call. Whatever you want from me. I want some glory, God. Lord, I want some glory down in my soul. I'm, I'm, I'm consecrating everything. I care not where my Lord directs. Africa. Australia. I care not where my Lord directs. His purpose I'll fulfill. I know he everyone protects. See, even back here, there was a time in which you go to some places and they say you go there, you're going to catch them and die. This brother wrote this song. I know he everyone protects. Who does his holy will. My life, O oh Lord, though he may call across the seas, with Jesus I will go. 
and tell the loss of love so free till all his power may know. And let me tell you this, saints. God revealed this to me one time. When you really are consecrated, consecration is not consecration. Amen. Amen. My God. My God. My God. My God. Yeah. Right. I'm reading this. I'm about to get emotional. There's a call. There's a whole people over here that's hungry for the gospel. They went online and they want to know more about the one true church. And they want they never heard free from sin. And they, and they need and, and they need something to go over there. And, and, and saints, we need somebody who will step up and, and, and take the gospel over there and share with them and the children through Sunday school and share with them. This serious? Where? It's not like I gotta go pray. Oh, I gotta go over here and share this gospel. What? Oh, we gotta go hand out try. Y'all wanna go and pray with so and so who want a cottage meeting on their job who wanna know more about the gospel? Don't, don't ask. Man, I was trying to go to Applebee's tonight. Y'all gotta go to Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> this consecration was so important because the church knew it in its inception that there would be no glory without it. He said, Which one does he saw? Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? We we'll have no glory if you're not thinking about it. Have you, you guys say, have you received over in Acts 19 when I'm over there? He said, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? It's all flesh burn up because if it's not, God ain't going to share no glory in your life. Are you completely sold out for God? Because if not, God is not going to share no glory with you. Because it's going to be waste and you're going to just sit at home with it. You're not going to be sold out for it. The glory comes through a consecrated life. And as we close, individual has to be consistent. Genesis 49.3 As we close, in position for your portion of the glory. I'm clear, I'm consecrated, and I'm consistent. Clear, consecrated, and I'm consistent. Genesis 49.3 Read with Reuben. Reuben. Thou art my firstborn. Thou art my firstborn. My might. My might. And the beginning of my strength. Man, you got a lot of stuff going for you. Powerful. Come on, read. The excellency of dignity. The excellency of dignity. And wow. the excellency of power. And the excellency of power, my Lord. Unstable as water. <laughs> you great. But you as up and down as I've ever seen anybody. You up and down. In and out. You, one minute you encourage, next minute you. One minute, oh man, I'm praying this week. I revive my. Help, Lord, amen. They, they call some people camp meeting consecrated. Oh my, oh my God. My God, Lord. Oh, the camp meeting comes by all around. Oh, they have to order prayer and crying out. And some go, oh, since the last three weeks. And they'll be right back into what they. Oh, saints, I, you know what I struggle with? Somebody they say, oh, this changed me forever. Oh, I'm just so... <laughs> in what position were you in? Did you, now sometimes the Holy Ghost will come and do a miracle. Let me say, oh, I was, I was almost out. He was almost what? <laughs> That's like somebody said, I was almost divorced. <laughs> y'all was that far gone? <laughs> but here he said, great, you got all these things going for you. But saints, I've seen many people lack glory in their life because they're not consistent. My God. Remember when I got saved, I asked God more than anything else. I seen it. I'm just being real with you. I seen it growing up. I would see brothers, man, pray so hard. It almost shake the room. I'm sitting there, and in my mind, I could not fathom. How could he not be a Holy Ghost preacher praying like that? I mean, they would quote Old Testament, the law, then the prophets, then they would come back to the Psalms to mix it with faith, and then they tap and jump over into the New Testament. Wow. Through the Beatitudes and the teachings of Christ. Then they bring in Paul, Peter, and John. And then they would take it over to the Isle of Patmos and close their prayer out. My God. I'm young, sitting there. I'm like, oh my goodness. And I say, man, why did they use more? Hmm. They get up and testify. Whoever they preach after that, my God, in trouble. They get done. They line it up with scripture. And I say, man, why don't they use more? Oh. If you don't 
God to share a glory. I asked God when I got, I said, Lord, I may not be this. I may not go here. But Lord, just give me. Just, just, just stable. I'm just, just, just progressively right. Just stable. I, I, and, and I'm going to tell you what stability. I endeavor because I've seen such a good example. Stability represents the whole man. Some people are great with scripture, but they owe ten people money and they have three cars repossessed and they don't and their credit score is about a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they can quote it real good, but they I mean they on fire for God, but they can't have a pleasant conversation with any of their children. Yeah. Spend no quality time with them at all. Their wife endured them, but they got fire. <laughs> Yes. Nephi, no, no. the Persian, yes. the real, stable. Oh, if they on fire for God. Glory be to God. Go to their job. Go to their job. That's a real test. You want to? You want to not? Don't do this because you got to do it with the right spirit. You're supposed, to, you're supposed to do it just in happy sense, not to check. Right, right. Go where somebody works and throw their name out <laughs> and see which part responds you. Right. Hey, 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 you know what they <laughs> go to their team. Whatever team they work with. Go to their go to their direct report. So how is uh Lee? I go to church with him. <laughs> <laughs> the one that went off on me today? Uh -oh. yeah. The one that just took me from here to here. The one that stable at church. My neighbors, go check with the neighbors. On the job, stable. We talking about glory. Stable, consistent in the experience. There's stability there. Consistency in the spirit. Walking in the spirit. Saints, if you want glory in your life, you cannot be getting out the spirit. My God. You can't do it. I've seen it too much. I've seen individuals that just seem like running for 20 years. Saints, they be going off at home. Going off. I mean, literally off. I don't care what you think, this, that, who you. Your children know you ain't got no clue. And nobody not sanctified should have no teenagers. <laughs> and I'm going to even take it a step further because I, honestly, children are sharper now. Man, teenagers can okay. sniff if you get out the spirit. They watching y'all. Yeah, a little disagreement going on. I said, how are they going to deal with it? They go, oh, okay. Then after you done went back to the room, oh, yeah, daddy just, hey, you went up, you see how he said that thing? You heard me say He didn't do it like this. He did like this. You see, he said, hey, you know, I saw it, man. I saw it. Yeah. You see, mama did. You see what she did? They go to the other room. Y'all think they in there. They, they did it. They, they in there having a, 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 a commentary on y'all discourse. You see, mama didn't take it, though. She didn't go out like that. He said, oh, yeah. Yeah, you saw that thing like that. Yeah, yeah. Mama, mama, mama. I like mama. I like mama. I Glory takes consistency in the spirit. I'm sitting up front like my wife. Oh, sister so and so. Brother so and so. He's a church father. She's a church mother. No, she's not. Every time somebody asks for a tape, if it's one minute past the time, and you bet not act for seconds when we told y'all don't act for seconds. You bet not. You, you bet not. Don't you? Consistency in the spirit. I got consistent spirit. Now listen. I told you no act for seconds. I'm going to stay in the spirit and tell you you're not getting seconds. But I'm not. You're not going to. It's a consistency. It's just a consistency in my spirit. You ain't going to find me go. But at least when I went with an all other, your testimony, you want glory. You're going to have to be consistency in your spirit. Not your experience, your spirit, and a consistency in your stand. Your stand. It said, I'm sorry, real quick, as we close out, go to Revelation 14.1. Revelation 14.1. In position for your portion of the glory, you must be clear, you must be consecrated, and you must be consistent. Revelation 14.1. Come on and read. We close out this sermon. And I look. And I look. And lo, a lamb stood on Mount Zion. A lamb stood on Mount Zion. 
And with him a hundred lamb, capital L, represents Christ, Christ. Revelation, symbolic language. The lamb represents Christ, the sacrifice for the sins of the world. Read. And with them, a hundred forty and four thousand. The redeemed of all ages, read. Having his father's name written in their forehead. It said the lamb stood on Mount Zion. Over in Hebrew, don't go there. 12th chapter, he said you're coming to Mount Zion. Church of the firstborn. It said 144,000 standing on Mount Zion. Here he's talking about standing firmly on Mount Zion. I'm consistent. Many people, glory is not in their life to the extent that they should have because there's some of Zion they're not standing on. All right. My God. God has a church. That church has doctrine. That church has standards. Amen. And if you want glory, I'm just going to tell you, you cannot pick and choose what you want to do. That's right. Amen. That's right. You can't be one of them young people that got your own salvation. I'm doing my own. If, yes, I, I'm my own person. But when it comes to the Word of God, the Church of God, the truth of God, I'm standing. My God. I'm, I'm not going to be, I, I, I'm good over here, but I'm not standing. It, there's a certain influence you won't even have if there's things that you're not standing on yeah. that's in God's Word. The saints know it. Amen. God knows it. The world even will know it. You have to stand. He said, the 144 the redeemed stood yeah. with the Lamb. Everything Zion stands for, I'm standing on. Yeah. Everything in my experience, everything that Zion stands for, I'm standing on. We're living in a day and age, this eight beast age, where people think that they can do what they want to do and yet have glory in their life. It don't work like that. It's my not God. your glory, it's God's glory. If you want some of His glory, then you better stand with the Lamb. Amen. Amen. It said they stood on Mount Zion. Lord, Reveal to me Zion. And everything you reveal to me, I'm standing on. My God. I'm going to be consistent in my walk with it, Lord. I'm going to have a good spirit. I want a consistent experience. And I want to consistently stand on everything that Zion is. Many congregations have lost their glory. Why? Got some ministry that lost their vision. And for whatever reason, they didn't want to stand on the full way of the word. My God. The full Mount Zion. Be church of God indeed. Fully sold out. A light to the world. Standing for all the truth. Not picking and choosing. Not that. Lord, burn me up if you yes, have to. Right. Yes, right. I want to stand yes, on Mount Zion. God. I want a Mount Zion experience. Yes. I want your God to be an example to the yes. world. Lord, you said, my God, let no man despise thy youth. I'm young. But it said, be thou in a gem. Yes. Stand yes. firmly, four square on the word of yes. God. Lord, when I'm with the saints, when I'm not with the yes. saints. Yes. When I'm away, and when I'm at home, yes. when I'm on my job, yes. when I'm on the road, it doesn't matter. I am church of God. I'm yes. a Christian. I'm sold out for Christ. I'm the bride of Christ. I'm standing with the Lamb on Mount Zion, which is, my God, the church of God. My God. He said in one place they stood on the sea of glass, mingled with fire. Lord, everything in the book. Yes, sir. I'm standing. Then it said they stood on the sea of glass in the 15th chapter. Don't go there. And it said with harps in their hands. Oh, you talking about, Lord, keep reading that chapter. It talks about there was lightnings and thunder. Oh, the Lord. What? I'm standing on the full word of God. Mount Zion. And I got a harp in my hand. I'm not doing it with drudgery. But I'm doing it rejoicing. My God. Why? Because I want to be that example. In his word, he said, the eyes of the Lord run to and fro, seeking to show himself strong, whose heart is perfect towards them. They're clear, they're consecrated, and they're consistent. May God bless you. My Lord. Very good. Amen. Amen. Glory. Glory in my experience. I'm single, Lord, but I want glory. I'm married, but I want glory. My gift, my anointing. Let's sing 245. This is a verse of 245. 
245. You're not saved, you can come up, we can pray. If you are saved, you can pray up here, you can pray to seat. You can say a word of prayer. God will bless us. Have glory in our experience, glory in our heart.